it was not easy yeah. for me when i convinced my father that was the first obstacle i saw that film 11 times what just when the lighting is ready everything is ready like how you and me are sitting yeah some guy will come and just hand me the script and be like okay read it once or twice and let's go for it your character was a mute yeah. character yeah. that must have been very challenging this is one of the biggest reasons why i want to be an actor it was the show it was the show of our television industry and when i see my old projects i couldn't have cast me for what i want yeah dilemma actually wanted to do like a fun little acting activity if you'd be open to it what's up bali stars my name is shiksha meitani aka bali girl Welcome to Buck Buck with Bali Girl. Today I have a very popular Indian TV serial actor, Kunal J Singh. Are you ready to talk to him about all things Indian TV? Let's do this. Thank you so much for joining me here today, Thank Kunal. You. Thank you, Sachcha. I'm like, I'm really enjoying your accent, you know. Oh my accent! I love it. I love it. What? I love it. That's it's, so crazy because so, I don't feel so like. <laughs> of course, not for you. Yeah, of course. Like for you, this is an accent. Is an accent, right? right. It's, is it that American? The yeah, accent. I love American accent. I love American, British, and Australian accents. Oh, can you do an accent? Out of curiosity, no. or is that not something that you've? I can, but uh, probably like, during the off. show. During the show, sure. <laughs> might just just might just crop out. That's fair. That's fair. So, how, what exactly got you into acting in the first place? To be very honest, I was uh, always into doing. school plays college plays oh, okay and um, my family was never up for me to even get into acting right and that was never a discussion we've ever had at home right and every time uh, anything close to that would also come like there would be like really negative comments like you know man this line is so and so this line is so and so so yeah. uh, for me in my head it was always like theek hai i'm doing it in um, I'm I'm like doing it in school and college. Ultimately I'm going to get a job, grow in my job profile, hit a post and carry on with my life. Yeah. One day I saw a couple of my friends who have nothing to do with the field, were never any aspiration, nothing like on TV. So I really went up to my dad and I spoke to him. I said, "Dad, this is this is a kind of a small uh, open dream of mine, a little passion of mine. I want to explore it. Give me one year because I don't want to be like 50 and then look back and regret like, you know, what yeah. if I would have just given it a shot. So if one year I don't do even this much, nothing happens, I'll leave it and I'll do what you want me to do. Okay. You want me to do business? I'll do a business. You want me to do a job? I'll do a job. Whatever you say. What was your backup plan? Out of curiosity. My backup plan plan was uh, to get back into the corporate line. Right? Okay. Okay. And I don't really uh, think that much because for me that I didn't give my life that option of not happening. Yeah. So this I, is it. This, this is, is it. Yeah. If I give an option, that means there is a possibility of it not happening. Right. And there is a backup plan. Hence, if right. there's no backup plan, you're gonna go all guns blazing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, twelve years later, I'm here. That's incredible. And then your parents were supportive in that moment. Yeah, my dad initially was a little skeptical about um, things, and you know, but when he saw that. there is potential people are appreciating me and yeah. uh, i'm not compromising on my family values yeah. i'm not uh, doing anything that will bring shame to my father or my family after that i think today he is my biggest supporter oh that's great like my biggest supporter that's awesome you mentioned your family but extended family is also cuz we're talking about the indian culture in extended family it was not easy yeah. for me to be very honest no. um, when i convinced my father that was the f- first obstacle yeah the battle had not even begun yeah then it came to my uncle and aunts like mm-hmm. my my dad's brother and uh, saying they came from a great heart you know like to you know make sure that i have security and like yeah. this is you know when when in india you say you want to be an actor you want to be a model so you just you just discard it and you feel like <laughs> is he losing it yeah. or is she losing it like stop talking nonsense and you know get back <laughs> yeah. to your uh, I think the it's world. the culture too because culture, we right? see it in the west too it's like in the in, amongst the indians it's like right. do you really want to follow the arts you know yeah no it's not even the arts you know it's 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 so crude in, in the indian language when it comes across it's like pagal ho gaya actor banna hai like he's gone mad he wants to be an actor yeah like please get a real job yeah so, but it's uh, sad that it's not considered a real yeah. job right i mean there was nobody who believed in me except myself That's amazing. Not from my dad's side, not from my mom's side. My um, mom's brother was constantly like he's lost it. Like please I'm to get educated further and do a job or start a business and do something with his life. What is this yeah. nonsense? And it was me against everyone. And I just had that belief in myself that I will do it. And that's the thing, you have to be so passionate to push through something like that, right? Because otherwise 
it's not happening. Not You'll happening. just go on to the back of plan and move on. Were there any influences in your young life when you were a kid that were like, I want to act like this person. I have to be like this one. Um, there were never influences of people, but I always remember whenever, whenever I would go with my parents for a movie. Yeah. And um, if I'm really fond of the film and I really like the film, so I would suddenly start feeling like the character that I fell in love with. Oh. So I would carry okay. myself unknowingly like that. Interesting. So I never made a head can or you, tail Can of you give me an example though? Like what do you mean? Uh, and it still happens with me, right? Okay. I'm a big, big, big fan of Ranveer Singh. Okay. <laughs> Ranveer, if this video reaches you, just know that I love you. And uh, it was my greatest honor to take your interview in IFA 2019. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love Ranveer, right? Yeah. So when he did Padmavat, huh. he did Khilji. I saw that film 11 times. Oh my god! People hated the, people hated the film. Yeah. I saw it 6 times in the theatre and about 4-5 times at home. What? And I didn't see it for uh, the story of it or anything because you know the story is the same, right? Right. I saw it for Ranveer Singh. I saw it to understand what was his mindset when he got into the skin of Khilji. What was he going through? What was he thinking? What was he feeling inside? What is that? What are the couple of animal traits that he is combining and you know like doing it? Yeah. He was he was King Kong also. Yeah. And he was a python also. You know, you use him as an example and it's a great one because he does a great job of really immersing himself into any character that he takes on and they're all so different. Right. Right? So you say that you use him as an inspiration. Like as of today, he yeah, as is of today. my he's I I I worship him. That's I really cool. look up to him. That's really cool. Yeah. So you started, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you started as your character was a mute yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. That must have been very challenging, right? Because you didn't have lines per se. Right. So this was again a part of my uh, <laughs> battle with uh, the Indian society and the Indian culture and our Indian mindset. Six to seven months down when I actually formally started my journey with giving auditions and all, I got this show called Man Ki Awaz Pratigya, huh. right? Where I was playing a servant. I was playing a servant who's mute. Um, the whole track was of Shah Rukh Khan from Koila, where Amrish Puri got him as a servant, and and he's actually not mute, which we get to know towards the end of the film. And that was the track. So the guy who got me in the serial, like the character who got me home as a servant, has married a servant. So huh. he's got me as a servant for the girl. He's married as a as a servant, and she's become like the the. The right. queen of the house. Right. So, uh, he got me on gunpoint saying that you are not going to see anything. But till this thing is revealed uh -huh. in the show eventually, yeah. I'm just playing a servant. Right. So, you know how Indian, not just Indian, I think it's just everywhere. Let's not typecast Indian uh, society and culture. Like He's doing something also. What is he doing? He's playing a servant. Huh. Standing in the background, cleaning the wall. Yeah. Serving uh, stuff. And that is something I would hear constantly. Oh God! And uh, they, I would not be called for get-togethers and this and that. Why? Because he's an actor. Okay, great. But when somebody asks you, what are you doing uh, in the show? And you, how does somebody say that he's a knocker ka role? Karta hai? Can, what does that mean exactly? Servant. You're huh. playing a servant's role. Okay, yeah. And, 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 and in India, it's not the same as a housekeeper's equality right, in right, the West, right? right? Here, because of the population and everything, so it, it's it's unfortunately looked down upon. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So they didn't see it as you just playing a role. role they yeah. saw it as now you've taken that yeah, on in a yeah, way. Yeah. It just goes to show how powerful Indian TV and Bollywood is in Indian society because we embrace it in such a way that you know it has an influence on our lives have right. you felt that as an actor too the things that you do and say influence other people of course of course this is one of the biggest reasons why i want to be an actor i'm a lot into spirituality right so i i really believe that there has to be a higher purpose in life for everyone right not everyone is put on this planet to do the run of the mill things right everyone's going to do that you're born, you start growing up, you go to school, you get educated, get a job, get married, have children. They are born, they grow up, send them to school, get them educated, get a job and the cycle continues. Hmm. So are you trying to tell me or are people trying to tell me that uh, this is the reason a power above, you call it God, I call it, I call it um, a phenomena. Yeah. This, what we're living is a phenomena, right? Are you trying to tell me this whole thing was created 
for billions of people to do this cycle constantly <laughs> Just again and again like we born grow up hmm. breed and die no every person has a mission in life you're here as siksha i'm here as kunal yeah everyone has a unique mission the thing is people don't realize this and people just go through their life like that and and the life is gone right hmm. eventually but what is it have you completed your mission have you have you have you fought for your mission because when you know that your goal in life and why you put on this planet what is your mission in life you know it there's nothing that can bog you down because your goal is clear you know where your destination you know what you have to achieve that's really cool but it's a matter of finding that purpose and finding what that is cuz not everybody does so you feel like via acting you can fulfill that purpose and of course because i know that uh, when i go up and i put something out there that at least that one person who's going to look up to me and um hear me out and take my advice or yeah. just that one person so and if that if i can make a difference in that one person's life my life is fulfilled that's really I've, cool i have achieved what i have to achieve Does that uh play into picking a role when you're choosing a role? Of course. So like when you're looking at roles you how do, what is that process like for, me, for you? For me, for me a character has to add value. Okay. He has to add add value when I'm portraying it. Whether right. even if it is a negative character, it's okay. adding value as to what is wrong and what should not be a person's traits or personality. At least something needs to be portrayed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It has to be. So you actually won best supportive actor for your show Ishq Baz, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank That's you. very cool. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit more for the western audience just who may not have seen your show a little bit about what that show is about? So the show uh I think that that's the show that gave me my pedestal in this industry and mm. a big shout out to Gul for uh, believing in me. Whatever wherever I am today and whatever pedestal I am at today uh it is that one woman who believed in me and that is Gul Khan. Hmm. So I really give it out to her and give it up to her. How it did she a, how did that happen? I gave an audition. She loved it. A lot of people did not believe that I could portray Om Kara, okay. but she said that no, he is my Om. That's it. Wow. This it has to happen. This is the guy. That's it. Ah. I found my Om. That's it. Ishbaz was a story of three brothers. Okay. Three brothers playing very distinctive personalities. Hmm. It was basically mind, body, and soul. So mind was the elder brother Nakul. He was the businessman. Hmm. Body was the youngest brother, who's who's like this brat, bodybuilding, yeah. fully ripped up. You know, like cruising <laughs> through life. You know, because he knows his elder brothers are around. Right, right. And I was playing uh, the soul, who was right. more empathetic. poetic artist which seems to fit your personality as well <laughs> honestly with the way that you're talking <laughs> but uh, yeah so it was about this so you know when when you hear it off hand it just sounds perfect hmm so mind body and soul yeah you got really something cool. for everyone yeah and ishbaz like went on to become ishbaz yeah it just became a really big show the, it was the show the show that it was the show of our television industry that's really cool now tv in india though is different to say in america for example um because it's more daily soap opera right, right so right. you have like a new episode every single day during the week right that's intense it's a different way of creating a project and creating it's very similar to telenovelas in south america right but that means that you're writing they're writing new content every single day and you're right. not getting your lines till what immediately before your shooting just or? before your shot so how does that work so if you're lucky you get you get your four five scenes of the day yeah in the morning as soon as you walk in so then while you're getting ready your hair makeup and all you that you just memorize it just memory and there are times when sometimes a scene has to be rewritten or something like that you probably get it just when the lighting is ready everything is ready like how you and me are sitting yeah some guy will come and just hand me the script and be like okay read it once or twice and let's go for it so how do you how does that affect you getting into character though So the best part about television huh. is that you have that many hours in front of the camera. Okay. Right? Yeah. So not a film actor, not a, a web <clears throat> actor, anyone has that many number of hours of experience in front of a camera. Right. So when your initial episodes are going on, shooting is slow, everything is really done well, you worked on the character and this right. and that. But 40 episodes in, you know your character. You know what are the traits of the character. So your personality is defined. Hmm. You know what the personality is. You know what the character is. You're just going to mouth the words. Hmm. That's it. That's interesting. So you completely embrace the character. So by the 40th episode, you are oh, that actually person. Actually not even the 40th episode. I mean 
it might be just like a week or two in also ha you are you you have 80% of your character you know what you you know who you are example, that person you are that person <laughs> it's like we're sitting here right ha huh. i don't know what questions you're going to ask me right i don't know what i'm going to reply huh. but i know i'm kunal right yeah so the words will come out according to what you can huh. throw at me yeah but my personality is not going to change because of this huh. so i know who i am my words will be different my response will be different that's it which is the way acting should be right because acting is reacting at Absolutely. the end of the day but a lot of the times with the movie i've seen you know i've come from la i've done acting classes there as well you have to sit through a script and dissect it and figure out what the character means in this and that but that's not what you have that even time to well. do that's yeah. happens here as well but not in television <laughs> yeah you don't have time for that the television i would compare it to like a uh, a daily paper okay and a film would be more like a magazine that comes once a month huh right so yeah if you miss okay. today's paper i mean you're going to newspaper you're going to you're going to get a new one tomorrow right do you you're never going to read the paper again do you get like your lines and say uh no this can't happen can we change this yeah if it doesn't make sense why not okay so you have that kind of control these many years into the industry yeah this, that's what i'm wondering like but, how this works but right for me, yeah but for me it always works with um, defeat me with logic hmm. if i'm putting my thought out there and if you feel no you want to go ahead with what is pen yeah. down please make sense to me huh if you can't make sense to me then then i feel it's just out of ego like you know over some other lines and you know like yeah, yeah. it makes sense to me yeah we're here to create a great product so we're not here to right. we're not here to you know satisfy yeah. each other's egos yeah you've been in this industry for so long what would you say like looking at it your work now versus when you first started when you first got on set the very beginning how is it different for you <laughs> when i look back at my uh, few episodes and scenes like on social media you know huh. fans do keep putting up the old i would be like people give me work for performing like that <laughs> What? Come I on. Swear to God, <laughs> I swear to God today what an, the actor that I am today. Yeah. And when I see my old projects like say when hmm. in 2012, 2000 uh, you know like that right, that yeah. long back when I see those clippings and I'm like I wouldn't have casted me for What? Like that. <laughs> if today if if somebody shows me like this guy acts like this? No. I cannot take him. But you're just being critical of yourself, right? Well, I'm not being critical. Trust me because I know where I am. See when you see your growth, you huh. always know what you came from, right? Right. But that had to happen for this to happen. Right. So then you'll this be saying that about yourself 10 years from now I'll ask you the same question and you'll say the same thing and Absolutely. About today, right? The But only difference might be that 10 years from now we might be doing this interview in LA. Yes, <laughs> uh, I love that, which actually takes me to my next question. Are there any shows in the west that you would want to be a part of that right. you look at and you're like oh, oh man there's so many like i want to be that there's character so many so many i want to be i want to <laughs> I, want, i want to be a part of peaky blinders oh okay i mean i love yeah. the man i love him okay is there um, like a specific reason that you'd want to be a part of that just because of the way he's performed it i just want to be there and learn from him and okay. probably share the screen space if possible yeah I want to play Lucifer. Yes. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. I could I could see you as the, like Daisy. Daisy Lucifer. Lucifer. <laughs> Absolutely. How about, how about not using yeah. the word Daisy? <laughs> how about just Lucifer? <laughs> just Lucifer. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. I could see you. Imagine Lucifer. imagine the show called Daisy Lucifer. It doesn't sound It good. doesn't sound right. Yeah. No, I could see you as the But Lucifer I, I over there. But I swear to God if Lucifer was made in 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 our daily soap, yeah. it would be called Shaitan. Oh. <laughs> And that doesn't sound appealing. No. No, no, no. Just go to Hollywood and be Lucifer. <laughs> Just play no Lucifer. I love it. I love right, that. That would right. be great. Do you ever have moments where you're like because of the way that Indian serials are, you know, they're so traumatic. They're known for being traumatic. Like the da na 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 da na na, you know. The traumatic. Um you have to act a different way as a result. I'd love to hear about how that yeah. is as an okay. actor. So, what I'm going to be telling you right now ha huh. is what i have personally felt and learned in the last 10 11 years 12 years of my career okay. right so this is just my experience right. this is my thought so i mean everybody has every actor will have their own perspective and my seniors who i have learned from or you know like stood against the wall and enacted their these things so it's different acting is acting 
Hmm. Right? Yeah. If I'm doing it in a on a stage in a theater and there are 500 people watching. Ha. Huh. I need to act that loud so that person sitting in the last row can understand what I'm doing because for him I'm that much. Like right. Right, here. right, yeah, right. right? So they have to be loud. Ha. Huh. But acting has to be the emotion. Yes. My emotion needs to come across to you. Mhm. Mm so if it is if I'm on stage I would have to act like this. <laughs> yeah. Are usko dekho are call that person na. Yeah. But yeah. if I'm on I'm in a film I can just be like call that person na. Yeah. Because that's 70 mm. Mhm. Mm But if I'm in TV and then I know that there is this a uh, beautiful lady sitting and cutting vegetables or doing her son's homework and and doing something going on or she's talking to someone on the phone and background mein tv is going on or something is happening and i have to catch her attention because nobody's going to sit through 20 minutes every day there's going to be 100 distractions yeah. so it has to be dramatic for you to look at the screen at the right time for you to catch it okay okay right a film yeah. the 3 hours you're going to sit with your mobile shut popcorn in your hand and you're going to watch it so i don't need to be like in theater like i call her no i can just be like call her no huh. but in tv excuse me uh, listen can you call her huh. so i add a step further right interesting okay so that when that communication of call her comes i'm saying excuse me i'm already getting that person's attention on the screen excuse me what is he going to say can you call her hmm different styles of acting for so it's just yeah. it's just you cater to the medium that's it yeah but you have tv in you know here is different to tv there and the medium is still tv but it's very unique style of filming right, right. with the dramatic right. uh, the zooming in and right. this you know it's like people know that that's an indian serial <laughs> like you just know so do you you know are you do you like that do you think that that's American TV should be doing more of that no. for example no, or no, no, no. if American TV gets into telenovelas or it gets mm. into uh, Indian style mm -hmm. where they're doing daily soaps Monday to Friday then definitely yes mm -hmm. but if I'm going to do seasons where there are 10 episodes mm. I don't need to do that because my, I know my audience is going to watch it at their convenience but even in telenovela which is the same you know 5 days a week they're not doing that at the same way right. that you guys are doing right. it You know, so it's a I'll different you, style. I'll tell you what difference it is. I have noticed, like I love telenovelas, right? And hmm. um, there, there are a couple of them on on um, on Netflix as well. Yeah, there are. Uh, <laughs> there are quite a Jane few. Jane the Virgin. Jane the Virgin is not, not a, a telenovela. telenovela. But she no, watches. It's the, a spoof the, the, of it. It's a spoof of yeah. telenovelas, right? Yeah. Spanish and all these people. See, either you be loud by your yeah. this thing, or you be loud by your pitch. Yeah. Have you noticed they are always shouting? <laughs> Have you noticed that? Yeah. In every telenovela, yeah. there is no one talking like this. They ay 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 mama ya. So they are always loud. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to do that then. No. That's fair. But here if I'm looking at you and I'm just I'm in emotion, I'm going to cry and if there's a zoom happening, it's just adding to the emotion because I'm doing it a little subtly then. Hmm. Interesting. It's okay. my that's again I'm saying it's it's the way I look at it. Hmm. And also Indian audience the level that we are our population and the 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 diversity we are catering to we need to know that we need to realize that the mass loves drama so if mm. anything can be dramatized and this dramatizes it for sure it exactly. has the drama you know yeah. i've done this one experiment yeah when i was doing this acting uh, workshop i went on to the railway station okay right? i wanted to see how people react to the same situation but one hour apart so that the people are right. the crowd is different right Walking down the stairs, I just slipped and I fell. Okay. And I started being like acting in like I'm really a lot of pain and this and that. What happened? And nobody was bothered. They're just going on with their day. This is where right here in yeah, Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai, Mumbai. Okay. So people are not bothered. And one hour later, when I did the same thing and I started laughing after falling. Huh. Everybody's like, "He's pagal ho gaya. He's mad or what? Are you okay? Are you fine? You're laughing. Are you okay? This and oh, that." Wow. So when somebody saw me in pain, yeah, not that many people came to ask me or yeah. you know, help me out. But when they saw me laughing after falling at the same place on the same step, Because they were more fine. concerned. You know why? Because I've realized people have so much of pain and misery going on in their life, and they when they see someone who's a step beyond hmm. in pain and misery at that moment, they feel good about themselves. That I'm not the one who is in 
misery or pain. Yeah. Right now. There's someone who's worse. In a way, you were kind of entertaining them. So with I'm, your, I'm like, yeah. I'm, if I see, if they see somebody else down and out, yeah, they'll feel better. Okay, I'm not there at least. But if they see that same thing when I when I started laughing, they're like, what is wrong with him? How can he fall and still laugh? And so it's just human psychology. Yeah. So hence, drama is always entertaining. Yeah. So if you can dramatize anything, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. we should do this on your post also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so you're actually known for also mentoring some of your co-stars now, right? You or not mentor, but like you help them and you advise them. Yeah, but on I, your sets, on my sets, yes. Like uh, my last show, uh, sorry, Muskarane ki wajah tum ho. Yeah. The heroine, she huh. was very new. So uh, why not, yeah? If I can help someone out and. And if the person comes to me and asks me how to do it, I would put my point across. I'd be like, if I if I was in your place, I would pick you up. Would I would take this mood. I would pick this up. Hmm. But that's really cool because you know the entertainment industry is a very competitive space. So to be somebody who's willing to help somebody out, even a junior who's just starting out, I mean that's pretty incredible, right? To like help them grow. What kind of put you into that mindset that you should do that? I'm not an insecure <coughs> person. Okay. It's a very competitive space. Nobody it's can, very nobody common. Can, nobody can take away what is going to come my way. Hmm. Right? Yeah. If I'm going to I love that personally. I think that's If I'm going to think yeah. that oh, this one's competition, that one is competition. Yeah. I'm not creating the right causes. Am I? Yeah. So how do I hope for the uh, the right effects? I need to create causes. <clears throat> yeah. Effects will manifest. You know, but we see that now even kind of it entering the social media space as well, the competition, um, because it's a smaller level of entertaining and people are competing with each other and they're feeling insecure and things like that. So I think that that's really cool and inspiring for people that to know that you do that, that you help each other. You know, everyone has a unique journey, right? Yeah. What you're gonna... This is What you're gonna be you. living, I'm not gonna be living. Yeah. I'm not born in the US. You're not born in India. Yeah. Right? So there, yeah. there is a separate journey that you're living and yeah. separate journey I'm living. And that'll go for him and me as well. Yeah. How can I then think that, oh, this person is going to be my competition and live my journey if it was supposed How yeah. can you even think like that? Yeah, I, I that agree with you completely. Mindset's yeah. so minuscule. Yeah. I'm like, there's so much of growing up that needs mm -hmm. to be done spiritually. And for that, I feel that a, mm -hmm. an, Every person needs to have a strong philosophy to go by in life. Like I'm a Buddhist, so okay. I, I mean, for me, my mentor and everyone, so I follow them, I, I, I look up to them. They inspire me to grow because the philosophy is correct. What would you say is your philosophy in life? Human humanity, if I can make a difference in one person's life. Which is what you were saying earlier, yeah. If yeah. I can stop someone today from feeling down and out about themselves and encourage them, I've lived a successful day. Do you think that social media today is still critical to the industry that you are in? Gosh. Like to maintain it? Of Because well, there are a lot of actors who do not maintain their social media. Me also. I, you know? I mean, I might have a million yeah. and million followers. Yeah. But I'm not that into like, you know, the I do it once in a while when I'm huh. sitting free, but I'm not the guy who's constantly like, Mm. Showing everything. I mean, like, <laughs> if, like, like if today I'm here, this is something huh. exciting. I would want to put out a feeler. Right. But if I'm sitting at home, like how people are, like, you know, like I'm sitting at home, so bored on a lazy day. You know, I can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. I have a team who comes and shoots content for me. Huh. Because I'm that lazy that I need to pay people <laughs> to come, and to come shoot it, it so that I can just bloody post it. Yeah. Like here, this is me. Here you go. Yeah, Done. yeah. You come, you shoot, you. You think of the concept, mm. I will come and perform it, you shoot it, you edit it, put the music, give me the caption and hashtags, <laughs> I'm just going to copy paste. But do you think it's better now that we have social media versus before when there was no social media? Back Pros and cons, yeah. Pros and right. cons. I mean, uh, human interaction has gone down. So much. Even at home. Yeah. If I'm on social media, my wife is not, but my wife is on social media, I'm not. There's, there's, there is less interaction when you're out with friends, you're out for a dinner. Everybody's clicking pictures, putting up uh, this thing. You know, I do it, no doubt. Mm. I do it too because somewhere I get feelers from my manager and everyone start putting yeah. things. You're going out, start putting things. <laughs> Show people what you're doing. You're, you're not monetizing from Instagram because you're not doing, yeah. you're not. This I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. I can't change myself. Right yeah. But yeah, I mean, human interaction's gone though. I mean, yeah. I'm enjoying the fact that you and me are sitting and Chatting. having a chat. Yeah. Right? Which is so different than just texting. 
texting each but other. But again, social media and technology uh, is also helpful. Mm -hmm. If if like how COVID was going on, and if if we were to do this, Zoom would have helped. Yeah. Instagram Live would have helped. Yeah, and then we could have connected from two parts of the world. Do you um, think that Indian TV serials could grow um, and get more known globally through things like reels and things like that? Of course, and yeah. I'll tell you something. We Indian television is huge globally mm. it's just that probably um countries like like us and all the, and mm. all these probably over there you don't realize because it's just the indian diaspora who's mm. probably watching mm -hmm. it yeah but when i was doing ishbas mm. and even even shows that i do now mm. russia africa the smaller eastern european countries indonesia it all gets dubbed and goes there that's awesome they're all watching it. Everyone. So it's, it's global. I have so many people from Russia messaging me every day on Instagram. That's cool. That's really cool. From Africa. So you're reaching them too. And they're connecting to the, the culture even through your shows even that the way. the Eastern European countries. Yeah. That's really cool. Albania and all these places. Huh. That's Georgia. Wow. Philippines. And you would you travel and you have you run into any of this? Of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's really cool. Now you actually met your wife on a, a show that yeah, you were working yeah, yeah, with, yeah. right? What was the reaction from your fans when you... So I kept it under wraps <laughs> for her. the longest time. Okay. So I met her in 2012. We started dating in 2013. Okay. End of 2013. From there on till 2018, it was... It's my, my personal life is my personal life. Huh. I do not like... But you guys were not paired on the no, show, we weren't, we weren't, right? We weren't. You weren't, a, a, we weren't across each other, yeah. We weren't. So that, that's what I'm saying. For fans, that must have been like, wait a minute. What's happening? No, I mean, in right? so many years, when you, when you start getting feelers that, oh, these two are together, these two are together, you get those feelers, you do get used to it. And huh. second of all, the fans who watched us as kids, when huh. we were kids, yeah. when we grew up, they also grew up. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So then you had like a full supportive fan base, you think? Yeah, no, no, Bharti has gone through hell because really? I was doing Ishbas and huh. I was opposite Shrenu. And because I never put my personal life out there, so people were always like, Shrenu single, Kunal is single, they should in real life also date and get married. Yeah. So when, when they got to know when I officially put it out there after I spoke to my family about Bharti, yeah. th that's when I officially put it out there because now my family knows. Right. And our family is op known for the longest right. time. But now it's official, right? And um, it was, it, she went through a lot of backlash. Really? A lot. That's interesting because you were actually like a... Troll, uh, trolling to another level and very disgusting trolling. Like language oh, which no. is not... Really? It should not be used by anyone. I mean, it just shows the upbringing. So, yeah. So but then the minute I the got trolls, engaged... you just turn it off? What can you do? You have to just turn what it off, delete do? it, just ignore. But the day we got engaged, huh. from that day onwards... Because it was a done deal. It's like, you can't do anything about it. This is happening. Accept it and move on kind of thing, right? Absolutely. What would you say is the funniest thing that you've ever had to do on a set? For a scene. I've never found anything funny because when I'm acting, it's like you make me wear like a sari or so and like I'm okay. You're chill? Then what yeah. would be the hardest thing? The hardest thing? I mean, I, I don't think there's anything hard as such, Nothing? right? I mean, I'm scared of heights. Huh. Uh, I'm not scared of heights. I have vertigo. So, okay. point, so like if somebody tells me, you know, you have to climb up that much, that would be hard for me because I could faint at any point huh. and hurt myself. Oh God, okay. So that would be hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, no. Otherwise, as a as performing wise, what can be hard? I, I, I know mean, my getting limits. into a specific scene or like portraying a specific emotion, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you um, know? or relating crying, to a situation. Yeah, cr crying when you're you know, you know when you're crying like a child on screen. Those oh. scenes are always draining for me because uh, it's not. You might watch the whole scene in about. A minute, mm. minute and a half. You're saying at a child? You're crying? As a child. Oh, as a child. Like, you know how you cry oh, like a baby? Like, uh, yeah, okay, crying okay. like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a scene for one, one and a half minutes, but it took me five hours of crying. <laughs> yeah. So my eyes are next day like... You have to keep going, going and going and going. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. and, and after a point, obviously, you use your glycerines and all that. Yeah, of course. I mean, because after a point, you can't just like keep doing it. You need the external help. Yeah. But it's four hours, five hours of constantly torturing your eyes and your brain. And then when you're watching like, you know, your co-stars off camera, do they ever make funny faces at you when you have to be serious? No, no. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very professional like that. I don't okay. do it to you, you don't do it to me. Okay. Not in these 
this might I would hope not, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. never know, right? No, straight. Then, yeah. then straight. Please, uh, can you get them out of here? <laughs> okay. Please, good job. Just leave here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't handle this. Immature. No, out. Not immature. Like, not, not right now. I mean, there's a lighter scene. We'll do it. I'll also do it when you're giving your clothes. I'll also do it. I mean, you could be messing with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. We do that. We do do that. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind doing a quick rapid fire? Sure. All Coffee right. with Bolly Girls. Yes. Coffee with Bolly Girls. Coffee with Buck Buck. This is Buck Buck. Okay, Buck Buck with Bolly Girls. Buck Buck, yes. If you could act with anybody in the world, who would it be? Let me just think. Favorite restaurant to eat at? Um, anywhere that's, that serves food. <laughs> no. I love food. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's your favorite kind of food? Indian, Chinese, Italian, uh, Spanish. Oh God! Uh, this is not answering the question. I'm being honest. So you're a total foodie. I'm a big foodie. Okay. <laughs> what would you say is your happy place? Uh, my home. Okay. Who is your biggest supporter? My father. Oh. Favorite book or TV show to watch? Wife and me every day dinner time is either Friends or Shit's Creek. Okay. And, and, and we've been through the cycle again and again and about again. 12, 13 times of each show. Interesting. I love it. Sitcom. Favorite Bollywood movie and then favorite Hollywood movie. Favorite Bollywood movie um, um, would be Ranveer Singh's any film, uh, especially Padmavat because he was he's outperformed himself. Yeah, he really did. He yeah. outperformed himself. Actually, that that would be a favorite character then. It wouldn't be a favorite film. Yeah. A favorite film I would say is Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara. Okay. I love that film. That's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. Hollywood? Hollywood um, would be Gladiator, Top Gun, Troy, all Too of them. Too many movies. Uh, same level, yeah. Okay. But um, my ultimate favorite Hollywood would probably have to be The Terminal. Ah. Tom Hanks. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, it's a great movie. Favorite song at the moment? Chris Brown's, uh, that, uh, what is it called? Under the Influence. Oh, I did not expect that at all. Uh, comfort food? Pizza. Okay. First person you share good news with? Uh, my wife and my father. And the one random thing we would just never know about you? I'm super lazy. <laughs> okay. Like, like to, taking your to, social media posts? To, to come to this interview, huh. I have uh, literally woken up at quarter to 12. Oh God. <laughs> And that's why I told you let's do a 3.30 thing so that you know I can just like take it easy, Relax. have yeah. lunch, get ready. You know. What's your call time normally? Normally it's either 7 or 9. So I'm so when I'm working, I'm I'm when I'm working, yeah. I'm like that. But when I know You're not working. I'm not then. working and my day yeah. is my my day. Yeah. Then it's like leave me alone. I just chill. What am I gonna get up and do? Yeah. <laughs> I actually wanted to do like a fun little acting activity if you'd be open that's to it. it. That's it. That's so it. just have like three or four scenarios and I wanted to see how would we do it differently yeah. or you or you do it differently for Indian TV versus like American TV. Probably my accent would change. Yeah, so like, you know, because I'm more so thinking like it's super dramatic for Indian TV. You have the close-ups and things right. like that. So for example, you're breaking up with someone. Hmm. What, how would that be different when you're portraying that for an American TV show versus for an American TV show? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, this is my just guesswork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just for it. fun. I don't yeah. know how directors think over there. Yeah. But if, like, if I'm breaking up with you, I would just like meet you, and I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I tried. This is for who? American. American TV show. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. Really tried to, you know, make this work and have those feelings for you. I just don't. I'm really sorry, but I don't want to uh, have you live in a fool's paradise. It's better we part ways. <sighs> that that would probably be me <laughs> in, in 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 Hollywood and uh -huh. India would be like Sexha. I really tried. I really tried, but I just don't see myself with you. I don't think we should be together. And then it would be like a da na 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 da na na na. So that 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 was up can charge on me. <laughs> Wait, that was awesome. Okay, I have a couple more. Okay. If you're open yeah, to yeah, it, yeah. you have a confession to make, hmm. which is that you like pineapple on your pizza. What would you do? How would you tell me? So like in American TV, it's like ah, like right? It would be super casual. Americans as a personality are also very. 
Like, hey, I like it like this, I like it like this. All right? I, I, I don't care if you judge me. Yeah. I like pineapple on my pizza, pineapple man. Pizza. So, so what? Deal with it. If you don't like it, don't order it. Yeah, man. I'll just I'll I'll eat it. It's fine. It. I'm not asking you to eat it, right? <laughs> but if it was Indian TV, it would be like, uh, Siksha, I mean, please don't judge me. I mean, I just want to tell you something. That I like pineapples on my pizza. I told you, no, I told you don't judge me. I swear I won't eat it in public. I swear to God it'll only be when I'm eating alone. Ah, that's it. And see. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I'm just trying to visualize the close-up. No, no, everything is not done. -na -na. -na -na. <laughs> -na 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 -na. The last one, let's do the last one. Yes. So it's a middle class family booking a vacation with a travel agent, but the first line has to be, so I'd like to file a police report. Hmm. But you're filing, you're trying to book a vacation with, with a travel agent. Right. So I'd like to file a police report uh, that you, sir, are not booking my vacation soon enough. What are you talking about? I'm I doing a fantastic job. I am very sure, but you're not doing it fast enough because I cannot wait to get my hands on some margaritas by the beach, you know, in All right, Kakun. don't worry. Don't worry, sir. I got you. I can take this. I have this under control. Yeah. I'll book something in Cancun. for you. <laughs> Cancun, yes. The beach, the babes, and the margaritas are calling. <laughs> Go to Cancun. I'll, I'll book it for you right now. No worries. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. <laughs> but if it was for Indian TV. Indian TV? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I'd like to file a police complaint. Because you, you. I'm not booking it fast enough. You don't know who my dad is. <laughs> this was so Delhi. <laughs> Duh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that was really fun. Right first. Yeah, right first. Mask, mask off. Da na na. Oh, ha, got it. Huh? So it goes. Na 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 na. Let's try. Yeah. Thank you so much thank for you, being with us here today. This was really fun. I had a blast. Yes, this was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so much fun yes. chatting with you and thank Same. you for having me on your show. No, thank you. And, uh, who made the same. rules? Who made the rules? <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Kunal Jaising and I'm buck bucking with a Bolly Girl here and uh, I'm very honored to be on her show, a talk show. Yeah.